All right, here it is, the Redneck Civic. Uh, There's the bracket, reinforcement bracket I recently made. <clears throat> the $10 Home Depot intake. <clears throat> now, the big question was, how am I controlling boost? And uh, I'll try to explain that right now. Basically, I got these two one-inch lines coming off my charge pipe here, going down to two Bosch bypass valves, and basically they're staying open at vacuum. And with the <coughs> excuse me, here's my source line right here. That's my vacuum boost source uh, check valve. So basically, they're not allowed to see boost and therefore stay open all the time until I have a T right here going to a solenoid. Solenoid. So it comes off that T into the solenoid and out below the check valve. It's a normally closed solenoid. <clears throat> and then it basically, once that solenoid opens up, your boost comes in, back feeds below the check valve, pressurizes the top of your bypass valve allowing it to stay closed under boost and that's all controlled by a uh, external relay fed from the K-Pro which I basically have it set up to kick on at 40, 40 miles an hour so it makes about 6 PSI in first and second gear and then like I said about 40 it kicks in the full boost at 12 pounds <clears throat> Hopefully we can get to the track in the next couple weeks and see what it'll do. But uh really need some traction bars and a clutch, but I don't know, we'll give it a try anyway. <clears throat>